everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be talking about how to really make your highlight pop. But not that crazy kind of highlight because there are sometimes like streaks here and like it's just overpowering. And listen, to each their own. If that's your cup of tea, fantastic. That is just not my jam. I like really that soft kind of glow from within, like where did you just come from? It's almost like that little spotlight on you. You get where I'm going with this, right? So today I'm really excited because I'm partnering with Walmart to show you how I make my highlight pop. All the products I am using are from Walmart and I will be linking them down below. So let's get started. I basically have everything on aside from my highlighter. So I did put on a little bit of a glow product underneath, which is my Milani Soft Focus. Right here, it's a little bit of a illuminator. So if you can see, it just looks like that. It's a great way to just start any base, especially during the summer months when you want that extra glow. It's not greasy, it's not going to leave your skin oily, it's not gonna leave your makeup on top of it patchy, so I really do like that. But one key component to really making highlight pop for me is a finishing mist or a setting spray. I have right here the Garnier Fructis Rose Water Fresh Mist. Now, the reason I really like this is because it's multi-purpose. So it's not only a finishing mist and a setting spray that you can use throughout the day to really refresh your makeup and your look, um, but it has skincare benefits. So rose water itself has anti-inflammatory properties. So especially if you are prone to breakouts, if you do have redness, it's something that's really gonna help soothe that. It acts as a toner. So there's just a lot of good stuff in here. And I actually use this throughout my process. I don't just use it before and after. Some people use it to prep and then some people use it at the end when they're done to set everything. I use it all throughout. And for me, that gives me a nice even look that is really dewy and glowy, but it stays put. I'm countering any powder that I put on there and bringing back that glow. So right now I feel like I look glowy, but I'm still a little bit more matte. So what I'm gonna do is, I since I just finished my blush, I am going to go in with this and I hold it about 12 inches away. Oh my gosh, you guys, that smells so good. It smells delicious. I put that on and I just let it sit for a second. Now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter and I'm using one of my absolute favorites. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome and this is in Molten Gold. You guys, I have nothing but amazing things to say about this highlighter. It is so pigmented, it, it just speaks for itself. It honestly compares to any high-end highlighter like it's just so it's milled perfectly it's not cakey it's good stuff so i'm going to now take the elf highlighter brush right here which i actually love to use for setting my powder too and i'm going to just lightly hit the areas that i want that extra pop and remember a little goes a long way so what i like to do is just kind of put it on step back see how it's doing and then I like to hit the high end of the cheekbone as well as right under the brow bone and right at the top of the temple. So almost just like that, like a little bit of a C right there. You see that? You see that? And then I'm going to take it at the tip of my nose and keep his bow, a little bit on the chin, and then that is about it. You can also just take a little bit if you want it and put it you can put just a little bit on the inner corners of the eye and there you go. So this is one technique, which is spraying the mist directly on your face and then applying it. So it's just a subtle glow that you see that I added there. The other option is if you want this to pop even more, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it in the highlight and then I'm going to spray the brush. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna like saturate it too much, but I'm just giving it a nice spritz. And then I'm going to apply this. And you'll see, this almost gives you that instant like dewiness. And it's that much more effective. And you can just repeat the process. So I'm just dipping it in there, doing that. And this is almost like ensuring it sets as well as gives you that glow. Now this glow is definitely a little bit more intense, but if that's the look you're going for, then great. And I'm just using that same method, like that C method, chin, 
and there you go. So this is one technique right here. I feel like that popped a lot. And then this is just using the highlight after I set my face. Now what I'm going to do is just spray it one more time to seal everything in, let it dry, and you are good to go. Now one other thing I really like is to make my collarbone and decolletage pop, especially during the summer if you're going out at night. But here's a little trick that I do. I take my facial moisturizing lotion and I make sure it has SPF in it and that's what I use around here because you know, a lot of people think, oh, my facial moisturizer, I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna use my body lotion here. But for me personally, this is just an extension of my face. So I'm going in with the CeraVe. Um, this is the AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen, so it has SPF 30. You always wanna make sure you have a min minimum of SPF 30 in all of your um, SPF or sunscreen products. I'm just taking a tiny bit like that. And then I'm bringing this down to my chest, my neck, and even my shoulders. And this is just important because this is the area that as we age, you do notice the signs of aging a lot quicker. Your neck, your chest, especially if you do wear more exposed um, tops or shirts, you're not covering up all the time, the sun is hitting this just as much as it is, is your face. Okay, then I'm going to take a larger brush. I'm going to be taking the Flower Beauty foundation brush, which is right here. I'm gonna be dipping that into the same highlighter and I'm just going to tap that on to the collarbone. And you can see like that just pops beautifully. It gives you that really subtle glow and I also like to go right in the center of the chest, right there, on the shoulders. And you'll see when you walk outside what a difference that makes, especially like at nighttime, if you're going out, it's just a beautiful glow that you get and you're getting, you know, double out of the highlight because you're using it in conjunction with a product that has SPF in it. All right guys, so these are just a few ways that I really make my highlight pop and it's not that over the top kind of pop, it's just that subtle, subtle pop. I just feel like a really good glow helps you look more alive, healthy, fresh, you know, all that good stuff. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, please do list them down below. I am also going to link everything that I showed you guys and used today. Um, you can find them on Walmart or walmart.com. And thank you again to Walmart for sponsoring this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.